Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 99 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So I'm just going to write out all the information we know. They say the variance of x is equal to 5,000. The variance of y is equal to 10,000. And they also say the variance of the total benefit, so variance of x plus y is equal to 17,000. And then due to its um, in increasing medical costs, the company issues a policy that decides to increase x by a flat amount of 100. So, and then we're trying to find the revisions, the variance of the revisions. So they're saying x adds 100, right? And y is increased by 10%. So if it's increased by 10%, we have to make sure we do the 1 times, 100 times 1. Otherwise, if you just did 0.1, it just makes it smaller. So this is what we're looking for. This we can say is equal to the variance of x, right? Plus the variance of 1.1 y. But because we don't know if it's independent or not, we have to make sure we add that two times the covariance of x and 1.1 y. Um, I guess we'll, we can also write down the variance of 100 just to make it formal. But the thing is, a variance of constant is just zero because it doesn't really matter. Variance measures variability of um, variables. So it doesn't matter if it's here or here. Shifting it this way, this way by a constant does not make a difference in vari variance. So we can actually just say this is equal to zero. Okay, anyways, back in, going back here. So now we have variance of x, which we know is actually... And then we also know what... We can actually factor this out, but when we factor it out, it becomes 1.1 squared variance of y. Plus, we can also do the same thing here, factor out the 2, 1.1 here. But because this is in covariance, it doesn't follow the same squared rule, so it would just be 2 times 1.1 covariance of x and y. Okay, we have everything we need except the covariance, but the good thing about covariance is that we do know that the variance of x plus y is equal to the variance of x plus the variance of y plus 2 times covariance of x and y and because we're begin given what variance of x plus y is we can just plug that in there 17,000 is equal to variance of x which is 5,000 plus the variance of y which is 10,000 plus 2 times covariance of x and y so then this right here is going to be 15k is equal to 17k, right? Is it plus two times the covariance? And I'm just writing k because my pen's dying. But anyways, so this is q 2k is equal to two times covariance of x and y. So that means the covariance of x and y must be equal to 1,000. All right. So then now we have everything we need. Plugging everything in here, the variance of x again is 5,000. 1.1 squared is 1.21 times the variance of y, which is 10,000, plus 2 times 1.1, it's 2.2 .2 times covariance, which is 1,000, which we found earlier. So then this is equal to 19300, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.